Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's Token Post interview. Today we have Mr. Sam Lee and Mr. Eugene Tay, both founder and CEO of CoinStreet and Crypto Central. So, could you give a brief introduction about yourselves and how you got into the crypto market? Sure. Uh, well, my name is Eugene Tay, CEO and founder of uh, CryptoCentral.net. And how I actually got into uh, the whole cryptocurrency craze is that I was working in a job, was uh, running a business, and I noticed that it was very difficult to break out of that cycle or what I call the poverty cycle because no matter how much money you make, no matter how much money you can try to strive to earn, it's never going to be enough because you're always chasing after inflation and everything else. But then I stumbled upon blockchain and Bitcoin and then I looked at the whole concept of it and immediately it struck me as this is going to be the next big thing. But the thing was, at that point in time, Bitcoin was still 500, Ethereum was just under 100, and everyone would say, this is fake money, it's crazy, don't do it. And I, decide, I decided that after studying it long enough, I was comfortable enough to take the risk, I went all in with it. And then once I you know, sort, of, uh, sort of made it in the, in the cryptocurrency world, I decided to take my knowledge and my experience and bring it back to the community. So I started working with the people on the ground, looking at blockchain projects, helping them get onto the, the, the whole uh, blockchain uh, e technology and ecosystem and just marry community and projects together after that. And how about you, Sam? Hi, I, I was in the tech industry for over 20 years mm -hmm. since the dot-com. So <laughs> I have seen the boom and the bust. But after 20 years, I have never seen such a big momentum as the blockchain now. Mm -hmm. So I really feel this is uh, the, the, the real second wave of the whole internet. Mm -hmm. right? And now we look back a little bit, we, we do realize the whole blockchain is, is very re revolutionary. Yes, yes. Right? Instead of just internet, the TCP IP protocol is moving data, mm -hmm. the blockchain protocol is moving value. Mm -hmm. right? So that's a big uh, revolutionary. But when we look even beyond the fintech, there's so much application of blockchain. Mm -hmm. right? So I got in uh, in the uh, year 2016. Um, I also got uh, introduced to who are common friends to uh, the co-founder of Ethereum, Vitalik. Oh, wow. yeah. Yeah. So I'm helping him to run the community in Zenzhen. And uh, since then, I, I get into uh, community work, helping to build the community, meeting different people. And, um, and if you think about how Bitcoin started, it was back to the 2018, uh, 2008. Eight. Right? Yeah. When the whole financial system meltdown, <laughs> starting in Wall Street. <laughs> so that's come to my inspiration of starting Coin Street, right? <laughs> with, with a proper philosophy and really trying to help um, to, to reconstruct yes. a new business model and, and, and crypto economy model from, from the crypto world. <laughs> yeah. So what we do now, Coin Street, uh, we position ourselves as an investment bank in the crypto world. Mm -hmm. So we, we consult people, we help them to put together the token economics model. Mm -hmm. the, if they want to do fundraising, the token sales, events, white paper, uh, private sale, uh, public sale, roadshow, even the, the, the listing of the token. So uh, we also run two crypto funds. Mm -hmm. uh, so for some of the good projects, we also invest our own money. Yeah. <laughs> And we, uh, we uh, have a, a, a white label crypto exchange platform. Mm -hmm. So we power crypto exchange via their backend system. Um, so um, we focus on a security token exchange, uh, <laughs> which we think will be a big thing in the, mm -hmm. in the near future. So could you give a brief uh, explanation on what you guys do or what your company does? Cool. Yeah. Uh, so for Crypto Central, we are uh, consider ourselves a collective for blockchain advisory. And this is where we work with different moving parts in the industry, the, 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 the tech people, the community people, the business people. And the beauty about the whole blockchain universe is that everyone is working together as opposed to being very uh, separated and it was me versus you. Mm -hmm. in, in crypto, everyone wants to come together, work together yes. for the greater good. And so that's what we do at Crypto Central. We pull all this talent together, mm -hmm. all the right people, and then we form a collective, and then we go out and help the community and the business projects. Oh, yeah. that's very good. <laughs> and as for you? Well, as everybody aware, like blockchain uh, or Bitcoin, right? Yes. It's actually started when um, the whole financial system like, meltdown yes, in yes, 2008. 
in Wall Street, right? <laughs> so that's how we start Corn Street, <laughs> right? In a totally different way and hoping to do all good. Uh, we position ourselves as the investment bank in the crypto world. Mm -hmm. So we help company like, you know, do consultation, uh, token sales, mm -hmm. white paper strategy, uh, paric sale, public sale, yes. yeah. right? We see actually there's a lot of, although there's is is still controversial of all these ICO and tokens. Mm -hmm. uh, there's different countries still coming up with regulation, mm -hmm. but in the long run, is is very positive outlook. Right? Yeah. We see token is as a new way of financing, mm -hmm. right? So if you remember back to the school days, <laughs> right, when people learn about corporate finance. Yes, yes. Right, they have uh, the debt financing and equity financing. Yes, yes. So very soon, people will understand this is token finance. Mm. Oh. It's the next part of corporate finance. <laughs> so both of you are here today to host the Crypto VIP <laughs> Asian Tour. Yes. So how's it going so far? Wow, but thank you guys, uh, Token Post, for having us here in <laughs> Korea. I know you guys have been a wonderful partner. Uh, it's been eye-opening uh, because we bring, uh, we, we position ourselves as the guys who want to bring the best token projects from the global uh, blockchain community mm -hmm. into Asia because Asia is such a difficult place to navigate. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't really do it a one-man show and that's why Sam and I sat down actually in Hong Kong and we came up with this idea and said, why don't we help all these people that we are advising for to open up the gates and come down to Asia. Mm -hmm. So it's been tiring but yet fun because we do it so intensively that like every day there's one different country. Mm -hmm. So yeah, how, how are you feeling, Sam? <laughs> well, I'm feeling great. Right? <laughs> so the whole idea of crypto VIP yes. is, as, as, as we all know, there are different type of events in the industry. Right? Mm. They are the community events, right? yeah. the meetups. Right? So people from the community, the industry, mm. the developers yeah. All, yeah. comes into shape. Yes. And those are really good, but it's community events. Mm -hmm. And they are also the big conferences, mm -hmm. right? Like, you know, for example, the this summit, week is, you know. is consensus. consensus. Yeah. Yes, of course. So huge conferences and, you know, things a little bit <laughs> over the place, you know. And what we want to do is something very focused mm -hmm. to the more advanced mm. um, crypto mm. enthusiasts. Oh, yeah. right. So that's why this whole crypto VIP concept comes, oh. right? It's about exclusive insight sharing. Mm. Oh, that's the whole topic of yeah. the tour. Yeah. Uh, since you guys are on a tour, I'm pretty sure there must have been a memorable episode at some point. Oh, I mean, memorable, memorable episode for me would actually be today. Uh, so we, we came from Singapore to Sunshine. Hong Kong, no problem so far. <laughs> and then from Hong Kong to Korea, my plane got delayed. And then it was raining, and then a traffic jam. And I was like, Sam, you got to take the panel discussion for me. I'm not even there yet, you know? And I was watching the, the live streaming from the phone. I was like, oh God, <laughs> this, this is so not happening. <laughs> yeah, but, but I, I, what, what I appreciate about having great partners in the team is everyone is able to pivot, everyone's able to, like, you know, we, we look at the positive, we look at how we can make things happen, mm -hmm. as opposed to being very, very much in a traditional market. The mindset, as opposed to those in the blockchain is, no, this is how it's done. But people in the blockchain community, it's what works. <laughs> so it's beautiful. Yeah. Well, this is all great. Right? This week we already have, we started in Singapore, and then Shenzhen, yeah. in Hong Kong. This is the fourth stop, uh -huh. yeah. right? So, and tomorrow, Tokyo. Tokyo, yeah. Right? Oh, really? So we are running crypto VIP <laughs> events, but I feel like we are running a travel agent. Because right? <laughs> basically, it's, it's a cramped tour, yeah. right? Like one city per day. Yes. And we have to sort out yeah. all the logistics, all the flights, yeah. the hotel, and oh. yet all the translation. Yeah. <laughs> like five different countries, five different languages, five different culture yeah but but in it in that because we, we we talked about it we said should we have two weeks make it easy but no blockchain moves very very fast you don't have the two weeks time and in fact making it that kind of intense uh planning makes everyone just on their toes and very sharp and mm -hmm. it's almost like every day they learn something new they put in something different and it evolves in that one week so the whole the whole crypto vip as a tour it's as organic as it gets. The next time we run it again, it's going to be totally different. Yeah. And it's also a test. Uh -huh. It's a test.
to the presenter. <laughs> Only serious people come. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so Japan is your last stop, is it? Yeah. Yes, that's right. For me, it's our last stop. So after your roadshow, uh, any future plans? Maybe future cooperations between the two companies? Oh, this is uh, definitely a continuous yeah. uh, event. In, in fact, uh, I think uh, Sam and myself, we, 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 have, we have a lot of good uh, chemistry. Uh, we, we, we bond really well, and we felt that this can actually be an ongoing thing. So in June, mm -hmm. Sam actually threw me a challenge. This is only five countries, right? Mm -hmm. And Southeast Asia is more than five countries. <laughs> and he says, let's do 10. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> challenge accepted, Sam. Well, Last time I count, there's 14 countries in Asia. So, you know, there's, yeah. there's some, let's put it this way, some, some room for growth. Yeah, definitely, definitely. We, and we want to do it right. We don't just want to go out there with a bang and then, you know, we got to take, take baby steps, but at the same time, make sure that we do things right and be, be uh, responsible to the community and the projects that we bring. Mm -hmm. yeah. So since both of you guys are, one, a financial expert and be a financial um, great advisor, <laughs> What is the biggest advice you'd give to our audience when investing in crypto? Well, you probably have heard that, you know, don't invest more than you can lose. I think that's pretty much common sense. Uh, the one main advice I'd like to give you guys, because in 2018, the market has been rather volatile. It goes up, it crashes down, and everyone gets panicky. Remember, you don't lose money until you sell your coin. So if you don't sell it, just hold on, it will eventually go up. That's my belief. Well, my piece of advice is forget about the bonus, forget about the discount, and focus on the project, mm. right? Ask three questions. Is this solving a real problem of the real world? Is it a good use of blockchain? And what's the token economy? So I have to ask you, what is your ideal use of blockchain? Oh. That's a good question and that's also a tough question because every time I put myself in a position where I think I know best, I'm proven wrong. So I go into the whole blockchain community as a student of the sport rather than trying to be there thinking what I know is best. So as what's the best use of blockchain, that is always evolving. At one point it was protocol, at one, at one point it's debt, at one point it was people were building exchanges. <laughs> I like to open my mind and look at what the community needs what is the real problem that we are solving that's the next best thing <laughs> yeah i totally agree it's, it's an evolving question mm, right? yes. so what's best today may not be best tomorrow but in general i think if you think about the uniqueness of blockchain technology mm. right, it generally be used to use for for industry that is very fragmented mm -hmm. they have many isolated systems mm -hmm. right so the blockchain will, will provide a value to, to, to be able to interact with different systems, mm. right? And uh, also, what depends on the transparency, the limitability, yeah. and all those is, is really the uniqueness of blockchain technology. Mm -hmm. So how you utilize those. So how do you view the uh, current Korean blockchain industry? I mean, as a development-wise, or maybe fund-wise, finance-wise? We've had a lot of great things coming out of Korea and in fact that was the reason why we chose Korea as one of the stops because when you talk about Asia and blockchain, you can't exclude Korea. You, you guys are hot and crazy about that. Uh, but it's still a very mystical place for me. Uh, to be honest, I'm, 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 I think a lot of understanding the culture, understanding the mindset, which is why I'm here. and. I'm, I'm, I'm learning from you guys and I'll be coming again next time for the blockchain open forum as well. <laughs> and about you? Korean market is amazing, right? <laughs> like having over 30% of the world transaction of Ethereum. Yes, indeed. Right? And the passion of the people. Mm. For example, here, like it's almost actually it's wow. 10 o'clock, right? People stay to the end, like from 6 to 10 and this, you know, very serious. <laughs> yeah. Of course, of course, yes. Passion to learn. Right? And, and, and all this is, is very good. Yeah. Uh, so thank you for a great interview. So do you have any last comments to our audience? Well, I don't know. Our last comment is, with everything in life, as long as you are having fun, you will enjoy the journey. Remember, it's not the destination, it's the journey. Well, as mentioned earlier, we're going to have our crypto VIP event uh, next month again. So watch out our schedule. Hope to see you in the future in our event. Thanks. <laughs>
Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in, and thank you once again, Mr. Sam Lee and Mr. Eugene Tay. Thank you very thank much. Thank you so much. That was Token Post interview. Thank you for watching.